Today, we're gonna take a look at the upcoming English set, Aldea Evolved. This set is going to mostly consist of three Japanese sets, Triplet Beat, Snow Hazard, and Clay Burst. There are so many chase cards in these sets as well as some insane artwork. So let's take a look at what we can expect from Paldea Evolved. And make sure to watch all the way until the end because we have a very special announcement in today's video. Okay, so first up, we're gonna do a little recap of all the products that Paldea Evolved will include. Of course, we're gonna get the standard booster box, ETB, booster bundles, stadiums, things like that. This set is actually gonna have five pack artworks, which is really cool. But I think the most interesting thing of the English Paldea Evolved lineup is gonna be the Elite Trainer Box. Of course, it features all three starters. It really reminds me of the Evolving Skies Elite Trainer Box in the way that it looks and feels. There's gonna be a Pokemon Center exclusive version as well as a regular retail version. So here's what's so cool about the Paldea Evolved Elite Trainer Box. We've mentioned the Japanese counterpart of this card in so many other videos. We're finally getting this card in English and the Pokemon Center exclusive one is actually going to have that stamp. It's also going to come with an additional card without the stamp. The regular retail version of the box will actually come with the Pikachu promo as well. It just won't have that Pokemon Center exclusive stamp. This card is probably one of the best promos to ever come out in an Elite Trainer Box. And the fact that we can get these in a regular set Elite Trainer Box is insane. Usually you would see something like this in a special set. So it's really cool that we get this one in Paldea Evolved. And real quick, here are the five pack artworks. Looks like we're going to get Chen Pao, Meowskarada, Skeladurge, Quackwavel, and then and Ting Lu. Before we get into the Paldea Evolved cards, I want to make a quick point real fast. I think this is something that's kind of being overlooked just comparison to the second set that we got in Sword and Shield. Paldea Evolved is miles ahead. Going into the Sword and Shield era, we were actually losing tag teams. We lost the character cards and we lost alternate arts. So immediately going into a set like Scarlet and Violet and Paldea Evolved, where they've brought back art rares, secret art rares, which kind of resemble alternate arts, as well as a ton of other really, really cool cards and bringing back the EXs. I really think these sets are just miles ahead of what we saw in Sword and Shield. Also, why in the world is the Rebel Clash Elite Trainer Box $200? <laughs> Either way, I mean, just take a look at the ETB. It's just, it doesn't look nearly as good as the one that we're getting in Paldea Evolved. The chase card in the entire set is the boss's orders full art. So anyway, just a quick point I wanted to make. So now we're going to take a look at some Paldea Evolved cards. All right, so first we're going to take a look at some of the highlight cards that we can expect to see in Paldea Evolved. Now do keep in mind, some of these cards are not confirmed just yet, but based off of what we've seen in the past, these cards should make it into the set. So of course, we got to talk about the Magikarp Art Rare. This card, when it came out, absolutely blew blew everybody away. It's an insanely cool looking card. It's probably one of the most valuable just regular art rares that's ever come out. This card is still selling for around $30 on eBay. And one really cool thing about this card, I don't think they've ever done this before, but there's actually a hidden Gyarados on the card. If you look just to the left of the HP there, you can see a little bit of an outline of a Gyarados. That's really cool. So we should expect to see this card in Paldea Evolved. All right, so next up is going to be the starters and every single art rare that comes along with it. So it looks like all three of these evolution lines have actually been confirmed for Paldea Evolved. I think we should expect the price of these to be a lot cheaper than the Japanese counterparts. It seems that the English pull rates are actually a lot higher than the Japanese counterparts that does tend to bring the prices down. So we also have the Quaquavel art line here and the Skeledurge EX line. I think this one's probably my favorite art rare lineup out of the three. Real quick, I just wanted to thank you guys so much for supporting our channel. You guys absolutely exceeded my expectations for this channel and I'm so glad that you guys are enjoying the content. At the time of recording, we just surpassed 6,000 subscribers, which is super hard to believe because our first video was uploaded just over a month ago. So we're gonna celebrate with a massive giveaway. We're gonna give away a Paldea Evolved booster box to three lucky subscribers subscribers. To enter this giveaway, all you have to do is like this video, subscribe to our channel with notifications on, and comment down below the card you're most excited for in Paldea Evolved. Thanks again for watching our content. Now back to the video. All right, so we got to talk about some of the full art trainers in all these sets. This Dendra Secret Art Rare is still selling for around $275 on eBay. I don't think this card is going to be anywhere close to that in English. As we saw with the Miriam Secret Illustration Rare, that card was way cheaper in English. But the really cool thing about Paldea Evolved is that it should have a lot of really, really cool trainer cards. So if you're someone who loves to collect full art trainers, this is going to be one of the best sets to open. We also have this really cool secret art rare gets this boss's orders card. Boss's orders is still in the standard rotation. So this card is actually probably going to be really, really cool in English. All right. So now we're going to move into Snow Hazard. And I personally think Snow Hazard and Clay Burst have some of the best art rares that Pokemon have ever made. One of them being this Bax Caliber art rare lineup. So each one of these cards is actually a Kamiya artwork. And every single one of these is a masterpiece. This art style is so unique and so colorful. I know a lot of people collect Kamiya artworks out there. This one is no exception. It's an amazing artwork. Let's take a look at the other two. So here we also have the Arctabax here. I don't know why they're all like floating upside down, but that's kind of cool. And of course the Frigibax art rare as well. Again, all Kamiyas, they all look really cool. I did want to mention the Squawkabilly EX real fast, just because this card is super playable. It has a similar effect to the Dene GX, where you discard your hand and then draw six. However, that card was really powerful, so they did bring this back with a bit of a nerf. The Squawkabilly EX can only be used on the first turn of the game, but even so, it's still seeing a lot of competitive play. Next up, we got even more full art trainers. Here we have the Grusha Secret Artware, which is another big chase card from Snow Hazard. 
Bowser. This card's still selling for around $175 on eBay, which is crazy. Again, I think all of the full art trainers, all the secret illustration trainers are going to be much cheaper in English. We're also going to get some secret illustration rares from all of the new ancient legendary Pokemon. The Snow Leopard Chen Pao EX here is actually going to be the most playable of all four and probably my favorite artwork of all four as well. So this is a really, really neat card. We also should be getting the Wo Chen EX secret illustration rare in Paldea Evolved. I'm honestly a big fan of all of these new legendaries. I think they're all really interesting and the artwork on these cards are just really nice. All right, well, Clay Burst is where things start to get a little crazy for Paldea Evolved. The cards that are in this set can make Paldea Evolved maybe one of the best sets of the entire Scarlet and Violet era. We'll have to see what Pokemon does later in this expansion just to compete with a set like this. The art rares alone are easily the best out of any Scarlet and Violet Japanese set that have come out yet. We're going to go through a few of them here, but first we have the Raichu art rare here. Again, already proven to be a super fan favorite Pokemon and a beautiful art rare here. In a brand new Scarlet and Violet Pokemon, we have the Tink Tink art rare. There's also a Tinka Tough art rare and a Tinka Ton Secret Illustration EX. So here's the Tinka Tough art rare here, and I really like the theme of all these. They match the Pokemon really well, and I just like the Pokemon in general. And of course, Tinka Ton is going to get its own secret art rare. I don't think it's quite playable, but I think this card will be much cheaper in English. Next up, we have the Tinglu EX secret art rare. Gotta be honest, probably my least favorite out of the four, but still a cool artwork. And then finally, the Chi Yu EX. This one would probably be my favorite if the Pokemon was just a little bit better, but still, gotta love the fire fish here. All right, I want to back up here and highlight a couple more art rares from Clay Burst. Of course, we gotta mention the Tyranitar art rare. Easily my favorite regular art rare of any of the sets that'll be in Paldea Evolve. This card is already confirmed to be in the set, so you guys can look forward to pulling this card in Paldea Evolve. If you guys missed our video on Monday, we actually pulled this card and it was super exciting. I highly recommend watching that video. All right, we have one more art rare I wanted to point out. This actually made our top 10 list of best Pokemon cards from Snow Hazard and Clay Burst. The reason I put it there is because this is a brand new Pokemon, actually becoming a fan favorite Pokemon already, and the artwork, they just absolutely killed it. I'm super excited to see this card in Paldea Evolve. All right, and we can't end the video without talking about the Iono Secret Art Rare. This card has been the most sought after card ever since the Umbreon VMAX alternate art. In fact, the demand for this card was so crazy in Japan that they actually said that they're going to print Clay Burst to demand. They're doing this in an effort to make sure that everyone in Japan has a chance to get this card. At the time of recording, this card is still going for over a thousand dollars. However, just like the Miriam Secret Art Rare, I think we can expect to see this one much cheaper in English. If I had to throw a price out there, I would say that this card maybe is going to be in the range of like a hundred to maybe $150. If it's anything like the Miriam Secret Illustration Rare, that card was actually pretty common. So hopefully this card will be somewhat affordable. All right. So last up here, I wanted to show you just an article on some cards that actually have been confirmed. We can see the Pikachu EX from the starter deck in Japan is going to make it into Paldea Evolve. As we scroll down here, we can see some other art rares that have been confirmed. So all the new starters and their art rare evolution lines should be confirmed for Paldea Evolve, as well as Bax, Calibur, and Raichu. We got some more fan favorite art rares that already have been confirmed. We have Tyranitar, Grafei, a Flamigo, and of course, all four of the new Ancient Legendary EXs. And it looks like we'll be seeing all of the Secret Illustration Rare full art trainers in Paldea Evolved as well. Okay, that's it for today's video. Paldea Evolved is looking to be an insane set and is doing a much better job of introducing the new starters than Rebel Clash. I truly think Pokemon has their work cut out for them to continue to make better and better sets. We'll just have to see what happens later in the Scarlet and Violet expansion. Also, if you want to help support the channel, you can check out PokeCollect.com. We still have a small amount of Paldea Evolved pre-orders left, so if you haven't ordered any yet, you can still get some for a great price while still helping support this channel. You can also use promo code PALDEA5 for 5% off your entire order. Alright, thanks again for watching the entire video, and with that, we'll see you next time.